to do what? You know what I need you to do. Yeah. But I want to hear you say it. I need you to kill my mother. What's up guys, it's the NJB here, and today I'm going to give you my last theory on who I think Savitar is. And I thought of it yesterday while watching someone else's theory. So, first of all, I just want to apologize. The washing machine and the dryer are going on in the background. So, if you guys hear something like rattling or like shaking around, it's that. So, please just ignore it for this video. So, let's get right into it. So, in short, I think Savitar could be Barry Allen, but it's not going to be Barry from this timeline that we know. Remember in the very beginning of the season, or the series, the Reverse Flash went back in time and killed Barry's mom. So technically, like in the comics and all those, like cartoons, that happened like normally, like someone killed his mom. But in the show, someone traveled in, back in time and killed his mom. So technically, that means the whole series has been like a different timeline than what it's supposed to be. The Reverse Flash went back in time, killed his mom, killed Harrison Wells and took his place and like became like a fake Harrison Wells and then created Flash just so he can get back to his own time. So the whole time they've been living like in like a timeline that wasn't supposed to happen originally. And even though Barry's tried to change it, I mean his try like him trying to change it has already messed stuff up. So if you think about it, Flashpoint, even though the show describes it as like Barry's mistake, Technically, the reverse flash wasn't supposed to go back in time originally. I mean, he's already messing up the timeline. So, technically, Flashpoint could actually be like the way it's supposed to be if you already think about it. But anyway, if we're thinking about Savitar, if Savitar is like he could be Flash from the original timeline, like the future Flash, and think about it, Barry always blamed himself for practically everything. And it's kind of like a CW trend in like all their shows. I mean, their characters, their main characters blame themselves for everything, even when it's clearly not their fault. And that is a problem in, the, in a lot of their shows, I'm not going to lie. But if you think about it, Reverse Flash, Barry, Barry could blame himself for that because a lot of times when he has enemies, he could blame himself and say that, well, if he's never like been the Flash or whatever, or if he's never like done things to like get people mad, then maybe he wouldn't have caused him to do like some bad things and he could feel like he could view the reverse flash as one of those people or one of the mistakes he's made so let's say we know the reverse flash is Barry's enemy but we never really know the context of like how he went back if it's in like um, any of the CW like DC shows um, sorry I don't know I don't watch days of tomorrow or um, Legends of Tomorrow. I don't watch that. So if it's in there, I don't know like why Reverse Flash went back in time. But let's say if he went back in time because, you know, he hates Barry. He says that in the first season. So if he goes back in time to change something, what if Barry, like, what if Reverse, or what if Savitar could be like a time remnant of that time? What if he blames himself for losing everything or for, for everything that Reverse Flash took away from him? I mean, technically... He was the first beaster like that um we do see like in this like for his story like in this timeline so what if he blames himself for like creating like causing all of the villains to happen and to be there and what if he blames himself for having like an opposing speedster because we do see like zoom zoom is taking powers from like all the speedsters so just the presence of another speedster can cause like uh, opponents to rise and for them to be to have like a rival with their same powers like the speed force powers so what if he's the one that's left over i mean the show's never like shown us anything i mean other than flashpoint we've never seen like anything showing like what the timeline was supposed to be i mean the whole series has been in the reverse flashes kind of like the reverse flashes uh flashpoint so the show's never gone over that so if the re reverse flash did take everything barry could blame himself because he blames himself for basically everything that happens to him maybe he maybe he does become evil eventually in the future and he does go back to punish barry and what if he has tried to change it back in the 
like in different ways, but he doesn't like it's never worked out for him. He could just blame Barry and say Barry took everything from him because that is his former self and he's living a different time. And what if he's a little jealous of him because now Barry has like a family and um, Savitar doesn't. Like Savitar probably had a family and now he doesn't. So there are kind of like a bunch of theories we can do like saying how like if Savitar is from the original timeline, how he would still like retain his memories and not be a kind of like destroyed like other um, time remnants are in the show and I can't really like explain all of that but I do think it is a good idea that Savitar could be from the original timeline and he could be that that version of Flash or the future version so I'm gonna leave it as at that if you guys can add on to this or give me your theories on what you on who you think Savitar is then you can put it in the comments um, I don't know who Savitar like, I don't know who they're gonna say Savitar is I mean I feel like it could be like one of the three people I've said in like in my videos. So the people I've said was one, it'll be someone we haven't seen yet. Two, it could be um, Jay Garrick, and three, it could be Flash from the other timeline. So basically, I'm still sticking onto the three theory that Savitar is someone we haven't seen get their speed powers yet. So they could be, still be a speedster, but we we shouldn't have been able to see them get their powers. So we've seen Barry get his powers via the reverse flash so if it is Barry from the original timeline we haven't seen how he gets his powers so that's that could still be a theory we haven't seen Jay Garrett get his powers and if you think about it he is older than flash so he could so technically he would have got his powers before flash and and technically he could be the first one to get speed so if you think about it that way and then last um, he could be someone like Savitar could be someone we haven't seen yet and this would make some sense because we see how he gets powers and we don't know who it is and as i said in my like previous videos he is able to manipulate people and make them see people that aren't there like people they care about so i don't think that now that he started the speed force i don't think that changes anything um whoever caitlin saw when he took when savitar took off the suit it could still be like a manipulation and someone she thinks she's seeing but she's really not because savitar does use people and he does manipulate them by showing them who they care about and promising to to uh, let them be who they're supposed to be. I mean, that's what he was doing with Dr. Alchemy. So anyway, I'm going to leave it as that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments who you think Savitar could be if you still have different theories. Um, I do have two previous videos that came before this, so please check those out. I do give some pretty good points. And we will see tomorrow who he is. So I don't know. It would be so frustrating if that... Um, if that end scene in the promo they showed where he takes off a suit in front of Barry, it would be so frustrating if that was the end of the episode and we have to wait till the next episode to see. I mean, if, if they do that, I, I don't know what I'd do, but I, I doubt it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Cheers, mates.